Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. My name is Sean Tierney and in this episode we're going to take a first look at a couple of HMIs from Siemens. I've partnered with Siemens to produce a new course on these HMIs and uh, it's actually in pre-order over at theautomationschool.com but today we're going to actually open up a uh, unified basic panel and a unified comfort panel and uh, we just had, I think it was last week, we just had a uh, Ramey from Siemens on that gives us the update on this, the newest product, the basic panel. And uh, let's go ahead and open up that one first. And um, just uh, before we get into that, just to note, I am in Studio B at our physical office. They are still working on uh, a couple of the up, uh, open offices here. We kind of were the first tenant in on this floor. And so if you hear any construction noises, I'll try to pull it out in the post-processing. But if I miss anything, my apologies. And I do want to thank the good folks over at Siemens who sent us in this nice clock, which is great. If there's any other vendors out there, if you're jealous, feel free to contact me about uh, sending us some swag to put up on the wall, we'd love to. Eventually we wanna have all the equipment up there, but we're, we're gonna walk before we run. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at this. And I got the overhead camera on, and uh, let me zoom in just a little bit here. And let's open this up. Okay, let's see what comes in here. Now I did already do an unboxing for the training course, but I did want to share this with you guys who, uh, you know, maybe you've been around the block a while, you don't need to take a training course, but you want to see what comes in the box. So you can see there's four different models of the Unified Basic, right? Four, seven, 10, and 12. And uh, this is the quick install guide. So from there, we'll go to this uh, CD, DVD, DVD. And, uh, Open source software and license conditions. Okay, I tell I have not opened that yet. Um, I'm, you know, I like to try to go through the, uh, you know, using the HMI and try to get away with not using anything that comes in the box like the DVD, see how far I can get. You know, sometimes you do have to resort to go into those things, but uh, in any case, just to see what, you know, the average user would see if they didn't use the DVD. I try to try to just use it right out of the box. So in any case, you can see this little accessory kit here. So this has, of course, the power. It has the, uh, the mounting brackets here. You can see the screws and the plastic pieces. It also has some strain relief there as well. And we'll see where these go into the uh, unit itself. Okay, so we'll put that one aside. And then we have the unit here. I've already taken it out of the plastic once, but I tried to wrap it back up the way it was. So you can see what it looks like. And on this particular unit, I had already taken this cover off. The reason I put it back on there is because it is very reflective. See the camera up there? So, um, but the screen is not very reflective. It's a matte finish, which is great because, you know, shiny screens look nice, but um, not on the plant floor. You're going to be able to see, and uh, you can see, look at that. It's much different. A lot of that glare is eliminated. So you can see, you will see a slight difference between this model and the next model we look like from the front, especially around the bezel side, right? Otherwise, they look almost identical, okay? So um, if you're wondering, the camera up there, I have, because this is a drop ceiling, I actually built a frame out of 80-20 uh, style, you know, extruded aluminum, T-slot extruded aluminum. And uh, I got that all, cut the, cut the length right from Automation Direct. That's such a money saver, not having to pay for cuts or having to set up to, to uh, cut it yourself. So we saw the front there. There we can see the sides where it's vented. And uh, now we can take a look at the back here. Let's see if I can get really up close on the label. Okay. And then if we look at the bottom, you can see all the ports on the bottom are labeled right there. Very helpful. Okay. And so let's take a look at the bottom here. So we can see we have the power on the left there. We've got the ground connection. We've got our, I think it's a gigabit port. Um, according to Ramey, and then we have the reset button, and you can see those slots right here. These are for the strain reliefs, okay? So, although this one here, there's nothing there. So, in any case, then we got the, our uh, USB ports. Okay, so a nice, compact little unit. I'm excited to start using it. Oh, you can see all the fingerprints I just got on it. I'm excited to start using it in the course here, but for now... And that's why I wanted to do this unboxing because, you know, I, you know, I wanted to see what it looks like before I even power it up. But uh, I'll be starting lessons on that here probably tomorrow once I finish this unboxing for you guys. 
in any case, I do want to take a moment here to tell you about something. It's a special subscriber only or viewer only, uh, follower only um, coupon I have. And uh, last month we did a special for everybody who's on like social media. This, this month I'm doing it for those people who are like following me. And uh, what you do is you get 24% off. The coupon is April 24. You get 24% off any single course, whether it be this pre-order or be my S7 course or be an Alan Bradley course or whatever, as well as 24% off my eBooks over at theautomationblog.com. I have one on Control Logics and con, uh, Compact Logics. I got four more. I got to finish editing. It's just to find the time. And then um, I have uh, oh all the video series. So the Automation Show, the Automation Minute, the collection, the digitals. I can't discount the physical one because we don't, we don't make much profit already. So if we discounted it, we'd make negative profit. But in any case, um, you can find all of those at theautomationblog.com forward slash tab. So that'll show you the video collections and the eBooks. And if you want to um, uh, check out our courses, you just use the same coupon, April 24, and you can use that at the Automation School. So in any case, and that's only good for the month of April, and then that'll be it. It's, it's time-consuming to add all those coupons, all those different products. So, um, but yeah, that's the big news I had there for the Automation Blog in School um, and that coupon. So in any case, that one side here. You can see the test stands kind of in disarray. We're still setting up the new the new offices. I hope to do an episode of the Automation Morning Show tomorrow morning. Studio A over there, I'm going to try to come in earlier before the construction guys come in and, uh, and do an episode of that. Um, you know, I'm, all the equipment, you know, we got trying so many things. You know, we were in the old office for over 10 years. So it was very, uh, you know, we had everything set up. We could just roll in and go. Here, everything's still new, so... I'm hoping this audio video is coming out as I speak to you. But in any case, um, so let's open up this guy. Now, this is the unified comfort ba uh, comfort panel. The previous one was the unified basic panel. And, um, you know, I'll go through the part numbers at the end. But in any case, you can see her on top. I have a mounting bracket. And uh, I think this is reinforcement for the strain relief, I believe. Here you can see the um, power connector. And we get three of those plastic strain leaf pieces. That's what I'm calling them. There may be another technical term. You know, with Siemens, they, a lot of times instead of part number, they call it article number and they have different naming conventions. A lot of different companies do that. And we, we try to keep track of all of them and, and use all of them interchangeably. But in any case, you can see here, these are the mounting clips. Now you notice these are metal, right? The other ones were plastic. So very interesting there. And then we have two DVDs. So this looks like, yeah, it's the same one that was in the other one, or it looks like it is anyways. And then this one, Industrial Thing Client. Interesting. And then here we have, now you can see the Unified Comfort, as we've covered many times on the show. And matter of fact, I got to send the big one back to get it upgraded. And um, shame on me for not doing that yet. Sorry, Remy. Um, in any case, you can see here, you got a 7-inch, 10-inch, 12-inch, 15-inch, 19-inch, and 22-inch. Those are rough, rough sizes. The exact sizes are in the uh, in there. And then we have this. This is a multi-language document. I think English is on page 3, 4. Yeah, here we go. Okay, and this is showing um, product information, important notes on your device. And you can see this one comes with uh, with or without the Siemens logo on it. So if you're an OEM, you want to take the logo off, maybe put your own on. Um, I believe they will do uh, logos for you, too. So um, if you want to have, you know, if you're going to order, I don't know, a thousand of them for a thousand machines, you want to have your logo on the unit, I believe that's an option as well. So we'll take that out. Now we'll see here, again, this is not how, the, <laughs> how it comes. I took this one off. This, these can be a little hard to get off. But you see how shiny it is? And the only reason I put it back on there is just to show you the shine. Okay. And uh, now you look at the uh, look at the bezel here. This is a lighter, like a, almost a, a, a chrome or a silver. The other one was a little darker color, like almost like a greenish. But they both look almost identical from the front. And I do like that Annie Glear matte because... It just makes it look so much better. Whoops, there's the studio lights. 
Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll look at the sides here. You can see how much thicker it is, right? A lot more processing power in there. And these clips, and I didn't mention this on the first one, but these clips are to assist you in installing it. So you can push it through yourself into the hole and then it'll just stay there just enough so you can get around the back and put the clips on, the mounting clips. So we saw that on the other one too. I didn't call it out. But in any case, let's go ahead and look in the back here. Let me hold it up to the camera and see how close we can get. See all of the details right there. Okay, and now we can look at the bottom. Now here, this is something we didn't have on the other one. You know, if you caught my previous uh, unboxing of the Lodge comfort panel, Unified Comfort Panel, let me get that right. You can see here I got a data and a system SD card slot. Very cool. Okay, and then at the bottom, we'll look at the labeling for the ports. You can see the DC. Now you can see here we get RS-232-45. That's great to have that. And we got three LAN ports, right? Look at that. So maybe one's upstream and the other one's a daisy chain between this and other devices on your network. And then we get four USBs. Look at those USB threes. So a lot more ports on this guy. It's a lot thicker too because it can do a lot more things. And here we can see for the strain relief. Right there. So yeah, I'm excited to start using these and learning a, a new HMI. And you know what, let's go ahead and put them side by side. You know, before I do that, let's take a look at the actual article numbers on these. So we can see what models exactly I'm looking at. So this particular, here's the model number or article number. And that is a MTP 700 Unified Comfort. Okay, let's look at the other one. There you can see the article number. Okay. And this label is much smaller. MT, that is a T, MTP 700. Looks like an one. But in any case, MTP standing for multi-touch panel. Okay, so they're both multi-touch panels, so they have that same, you know, basic nomenclature. Now, let's go ahead and put them both under the overhead cam. Of course, I've gotten some fingerprints on them, but you can now see the difference in the color of the bezel. Very, very subtle, right? They look almost identical. I mean, they're the same size, but of course, you can see the depth is much different because this guy's much more powerful, just from, just from an I.O. port standpoint, right? And then, we'll look at the back here. Let's do it this way. So power, you can see so many more ports, but you know, if you're an end user or a power user, you probably want the unified comfort. Um, if you're an OEM, you don't need a lot of functions, you just want to get a screen on there, then the uh, then the Unified Basic may be for you. And with that, that is our first look at the Siemens Unified Basic panel and Unified Comfort panel, the 7-inch models of both, MTP 700s. And I just can't wait to uh, get these uh, booted up next, uh, well, actually tomorrow, and start uh, filming lessons on them. So in any case, um, if you're interested, you can uh, head over to the Automation School and see what we're doing there. But otherwise, uh, I'm going to include a link to uh, the home pages for each of these products over at the Siemens website. And uh, again, just want to thank Siemens for sending these in. Um, you know, they've been great. We're going to start doing courses and they sent us some S7-1200s and some more uh, four inch versions of these guys. And uh, of course, we want to cover every vendor out there, but uh, Siemens and some other vendors have just been great sending in equipment. So really uh, look forward to uh, doing that for the next couple of weeks. And uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Again, I'm going to try to do the news tomorrow. So today is Tuesday, the 2nd of April. Tomorrow's Wednesday. So I'll try to do the news tomorrow morning. It'll probably be, you'll probably catch a replay because I'll probably end up starting at around 6.30. 
But in any case, um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully this one went well. We got more. We got a whole bunch of stuff queued up to cover you with. Got some IO Link stuff coming up too, which I'm excited about. We had a, a, a vendor send in a bunch of IO Link stuff. So, and we're working with more vendors. We're working with, you guys probably have seen our Arduino coverage coming up. We're meeting with a couple of different Arduino uh, companies who make Arduino products for the industrial realm. So I'm excited to be working on that. And just so much. Oh, and if you guys didn't know, we did recently release our... Uh, PLC application simulator. It's a free PLC simulator and application simulator, a famous widget machine. So if you are a student in one of our PLC courses over at theautomationschool.com, check that out. It's completely free. There's a form you fill in. You got to use the same email that you, you log into the account, the, the site with, because we don't want to have to create you a new account just to give you a free piece of software. But it's really fun. I had a great time. And uh, we got following up to that, we're going to be doing a course on the author the, the person I hired to create that app for us, he has an automation game. So we're going to be uh, showing that off and doing a course on that. And uh, very inexpensive, under $15. And um, we also have, uh, we re remastered our original uh, training course, PLC Basics. Uh, we, we released that at the same price as it was over 10 years ago when, it, when we first did our Kickstarter, $35. So um, if you know anybody who wants to just get started with PLCs, we are also working after hours on something called Ladder Logic Basics, which is a course that'll teach people basic ladder logics, and it'll use our free uh, PLC application simulator. So we got a lot of stuff in the works, even more. I could go on and on, but this video is already pretty long. So with that, I want to wish you all a great evening. I hope you have a great rest of your week. And uh, remember, no matter what happens, I want to encourage you to stay courageous and stay fearless. And until next time, my friends, peace.